I can remember back to when Obama was first elected. It was magical. Once he got Florida, I knew that we had it. I called my mom. My mom was crying. Because of what we did in this election, at this defining moment, change has come to America. I was thrilled that my mother was able to vote for a black individual for president. There's a lot of churches everywhere in Jacksonville. I don't know if y'all have noticed that yet, but there's a church on every corner. This is Bethel Baptist. I think every person who runs for office comes here. I was born and raised here in Jacksonville. I've been working on campaigns since 2001. I kind of got hooked from there. It's not my main job, but I do enjoy politics. And the, the good politicians are the people that I like to work for because good politicians can still, still make a difference. This park is where I've invited some of my friends to kind of meet me for a barbecue. How are you, bro? I'm good, man. It's good to see you. I think Florida is always going to be a swing state. George Bush won Duval County by 60,000 votes. Four years later, Obama only lost it by 9,000 votes. African American voters came out in force. If you are a Democrat, you can do that. You have a really good chance to win. This chicken is good, though. How many of you guys have been pulled over by cops? Uh, yeah, like every single one of us. Yeah. It's something that I want to see more candidates talk about. I'm not as energized. I'm not as excited about the candidates. I'm excited to have a woman president. I will say that. That is exciting. <laughs> My natural instinct is not, OK, I'm going to vote for this candidate just because she's a woman. It's a little scary, honestly, um, with some of the rhetoric that's that's going on. And I think about Make America Great Again. That's that's one of those things. And I think back, like, what does that exactly mean? Like, who, where, how far are we going back? Like, Ever, is it the 80s, yeah, is it the yeah. 70s? Yeah. Is, I mean, what decade in America are you looking to go back to to make, make it great again? Great right? again. There's a joke, black people don't want to time travel. <laughs> we're good right where we're at, you know what I'm saying? We have to fight for just about everything that we get on the north side that's worthwhile. We are over here now trying to revitalize the area. This country is so divided now. Somebody need to work on trying to bring us back together. I really haven't heard that from either one of the candidates, whether Republican or Democrat. I actually think that this upcoming election may be the lowest turnout for the black vote that we've seen in a very long time. And, and my, my premise for that is the fact that we had our first black president who had two terms. Mm -hmm. And there was an all out full court press to make sure that he was ineffective. Even right now, when they address Bush, they say President Bush. But we got a sitting president and they say Obama. That's right. Mm -hmm. So how do you make, how do you think black folks feel when, when, it, when that happened? Now that there's not technically an African American running for office, we don't feel like anything is going to be done for us anyway. So what really is going to make us go out and vote? I mean, will this be the first time that I don't vote? You know, and, and I, because I mean, I just don't see nobody in the, 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 the candidates of running for office that I want to vote for. I mean. So what do I do? Do I go back to the thing where they say, well, do the less of the two evils? Well, for me as a black man, voting for the less of the two evils, I never worked out. Good afternoon, black heritage. I said good afternoon, black Black Heritage Weekend. The connection with the voting is simply to introduce 
the importance of them rocking their vote and making their voice be heard. Voter registration, 17 and up. Hello, are you already registered? Um, 17 and up? No, I'm not registered yet. Would you like to register today? Are you registered to vote? No. How about I take this out your hand and, and help you out? Come on, man, let's make this happen. You ready to vote? Yeah, I'm ready. You know the importance of voting? Yeah, I do. Jacksonville has a lot of issues in regards to the suppression of the vote. Voter ID, the removal of people from the voting role without their knowledge. Polls not being uh, adequately uh, manned, making the lines longer, meaning people would leave. Do you mind if we pre-register you to vote? All of those things puts the process into question. I need you to come pre-register to vote for me, okay? okay? We're trying to do something real big. We're trying to get 100 people uh, to register to vote. The Democrats have taken the black vote for granted for years, and the Republicans just don't want our vote. We need to rethink the leverage that we have as African Americans. They're registered to vote. Every Thank new you. registered vote would count. That's why the church has so much responsibility. I have big dreams because I serve a big God. And so my dream and the vision is 10,000. Somebody say 10,000. 10, Registered voters before the election in November. Uh, Ma'am, are you registered to vote? Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Registered to vote? Can you ask me that? I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jacksonville is going to be again center stage come November. Because this election would be won by the hair of our chinny chin chin. <laughs> Come with me, please. We're going to get you registered right now. Come on, let's make it happen. Get the vibe.